So Brabazon at the Belfry is where we find ourselves this week for the Christmas shootout. Playing off the white tees, pin one. Medium wins, so not bad. Soft fairways, not going to get a lot of release here. Moderate green firmness and default green speed. So hopefully this is something that we're able to get after. Uh, last week, we managed to blow our lead yet again. Um, I think we ended up two strokes off of first place, and we had a double bogey coming off the back of a birdie attempt. So... Yeah, you can you can definitely imagine the uh, the frustration there but let's get uh let's get this underway i think they're gonna be a lot i think it's shorter so they're gonna be a lot of opportunities for us but also a lot of opportunities to get in trouble yeah i i want to take this i want to take this wood off of the t here just to lay ourselves back into a a nicer position I think that's gonna be perfect actually yeah we're gonna, we're gonna play just a stock stock sandwich here oh it sounds good 102 is a little long though get down get down get down get down get down okay we'll take it we'll take it Where do you recognize West Yara from, Seb? I... Probably because it looks very similar to South Yara. I don't know. I don't know what else it would be besides that. Let's say it. I feel like there's a little bit of left to right in it. I'm gonna be a little aggressive, like more aggressive than normal. How does it break that much? Oh man, all right. I wonder if that's just what we're gonna be up against. I tried to slam it home. I tried to slam it home. I don't know. I just, I really, really thought. Really thought that we were going to have a, uh, a better, better shot there. All right. Well, put it behind us. We can, we can try and convert on the next. I'm actually going to just take five iron off the tee here. Should still be a wedge. Hey, what's going on? Hey, cat. Okay, so West Yara was just one of the first published courses, so people played it a lot out the gate. That makes sense. And yeah, Scud, Scud being four under through three definitely checks out. But I'm I'm assuming that means that three is a par five, so birdie, birdie, eagle. Um, yeah, we missed our birdie on the first, so we're going to have to eagle, eagle here. Just hold it out. Why does that come off? I, I just, the ball doesn't feel like it's that far below my feet. But, like, perfect, perfect distance. But, like, that just rockets out. And I don't, I don't know. I thought my swing plane was the other way. Or straight, at least. A lot of three-footers that turned into 20-footers. Yeah, I just, I, I thought that it was flat enough. I thought it was flat enough on the first. Ended up turning a lot, so I there's just it's 174s, which I guess I didn't really pay attention to on the first hole. I literally was just looking at that distance, distance and break. Didn't really consider how fast the greens were, so that does explain a bit as to why it turned the way that it did. What I'm having a hard time dialing in right now is what this break looks like. It looks like it wants to turn at the end. 
And the problem that I'm seeing now is we've got quite the downhill. Well, not quite the downhill, but it's it's fast. So you just have to play that much more to it. I'm low. I mean, I pulled it, but it just turned so fast to begin with. All right, this is this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. You know, guys, getting out here to a, a very quick start. We're gonna have to start probably putting it a little bit closer and just making some putts. Cabot won a tournament in real life here. Yeah, like. Cabs, Cabs is a good golfer. Yeah, probably, probably, you know, remembers a bit about this course. Round four is also 174s in Green's Full Shadows. Yeah, we had the 174s last week, and I didn't, I didn't do as well with them as I would have liked. Definitely tough, but that also means like when you get that. Yeah, we've got to probably play for a little more run out with those sorts of green speeds. So I'm going to play a little bit of a draw here. Try and play that draw with the wind, get it up. A little bit slow. It's got to hop up here. Okay, we're on the shelf. Gotta be, gotta be gentle with the putt like this, right? Like, have to... It's downhill. I don't know how much downhill it is behind. Hey, what's going on, Kilbride? So, like, as much as I wanna... Like, we just have to play this on the... On the non-aggressive side. Get it to the hole, get it to roll past a little bit. That's too firm. Please stay. Okay. All right. So not not the greatest start, and that that one's a little bit scary there, because I definitely held on to that. Definitely held on to that putt a little bit longer. I think the read genuinely was probably pretty good. But I definitely don't like putting myself into that sort of... Really don't like putting myself into that sort of position. It's just tough. But if that's how it's gonna be, like, you know, it's gonna come down to proximity, you know, to give ourselves any sort of real opportunity to convert these. That's slow push. Well, that's not that's not close to give ourselves an opportunity to convert. That's for darn sure. Not a not a great way to start this tournament. Trace almost took down Brady in his first career start. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was watching the game. Obviously, obviously, I'm pulling for Trace, but. Kind of one of those things like he was—he was struggling, for sure. And it's just the type of thing that like you have to put Brady way more behind because Brady just—he can turn it on and put it together for a drive. Like that's just how it goes, right? Like if you're. If you're struggling and he's keep you're keeping pace with him, like that's just it's not gonna get it done. You pretty well have to, yeah. You have to play better than than Brady. You can't. 
like you can't play mediocre. I want him to do. I want him to do well. It's just it's tough because it definitely you know he was off on his passing. You know that he doesn't get. You know, prior to this week, he's not really getting reps. So. You know, college him is able to scramble and make plays on the run. You know, unfortunately, you've got him out there just missing pass after pass after pass to Hopkins. Like, it... It's unfortunate. I, I would like to see him play a little bit better, but... Nice to nice to see him start, but definitely uh, definitely lacking a little bit. All right, I'm trying to deal off this shot a little bit. I don't. I hope it's I hope it's the right amount. That's a better swing. Finally. Finally, 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 finally a better swing. Just, you need, you need that. You need that. Oh, if you actually take driver here All right, because if we if we laid this up and uh, I think I have to, I, I know this starts to get a bit risky, playing it down towards the playing it down towards this gap. But that should be fine. This should feed left. Three turnovers, not great. Would have been, yeah, 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 yeah. Have the, have that accolade, right? Like, got, you know, started a game, beat Brady. In the same way that, like, you know, guys that, like, their first career interception is against Brady or, you know, different stuff like that. Always, always fun little bits. A little fast. Get down. Uh. There's definitely some left to right in it. Left to right up the hill. Actually feels like it's breaking the whole way. Pretty quick greens. I don't want to... Don't want to overplay it too, too much. Little Meow, thank you for the follow. Alright, somewhere out here, maybe? Just didn't really. I mean, that's a little bit further than I'd like it to be, but it just did not turn at quite the clip that it looked like it would. That's more what I was expecting for the break. Like, I, I was expecting that. Tough, tough going out on the greens here, like, definitely, definitely cannot be playing this way if we want to, if we want to win, got to squeeze out some more. One oh two, which should help. The little bit of slow is going to take us offline, but maybe we get a kick left. Alright, so we're like, we've been very, very good, I feel like, about our our distance, you know, getting it up to pin high and all of that jazz. 
But what we are struggling to do is convert. So I gotta hit this a little bit shorter because what I what I have to remember is that the 174s, like they just, everything plays just a little bit stronger. So I can see, I can see the break here. Right, I can definitely see it. It's gonna turn, but I think I need a little bit less. And this might still be high side, but I, I need to have something confirm that. So that that curled around that curled around high side. That curled around high side, so I, I I am in the right the right mindset there that I I could bring that one just just a touch back in. Okay, that's good to know. Definitely definitely big stuff to sink that. Where are we on the green here? I can definitely. I feel like I should be able to afford a pitching wedge, right? Or do we want to try and... Yeah, it's going to be wedge. So let's go and try to... Start it out towards the left side of this fairway. Actually getting, actually getting the 102 on the three wood here is probably even better. Just like... Get us that little bit closer. It's still going to be a longer wedge shot. It does It does put us in a little bit of an awkward spot. If we're being completely honest. But I can probably... It is risky. I guess with the pitching wedge... Probably need to try... Try and put some brakes on it. Slow? How slow? Enough, enough slow to take us offline again. <laughs> it's just... We are, uh, we are finding distances, but we are not finding angles. Okay, a little bit downhill. I have to be mindful that it continues to go downhill behind because I've been I've been learning to putt aggressively. But aggressive here is probably not the right answer. I think I'm seeing a little bit of right to left. Not a lot, but on a downhill downhill putt an inch. Something like here. Mm, looks like I overhit it. Looks like I overhit it, because I definitely don't think it. I think I cut through the break. I thank you, Scud. Yeah, definitely, definitely need luck with these. Definitely need luck with these greens. I, uh, I've, I've missed, I've missed a, a good amount of putts already. But I'm definitely, I definitely am not helping myself because my, my, my approach shots have been pretty good on distance, but I've either missed tempo or swing plane and have have not given myself... Proximity is probably good overall, but my my average, you know, my me or my median proximity is probably way too high. All right, ball is below the feet. Don't think this is gonna play too too much, but I gotta. Yeah, I exactly, Seb. Like I I need I need more tap ins. The consistently being in that eight to 
12 foot range is just gonna just gonna be brutal overall little oh that's not a little fast that's a lot of fast That's a huge slope to sit on. That's a huge slope to sit on. Great. All right. Well, I'm I'm just I'm doing it to myself. That's all there is to it. I'm you know. No one no one else to blame here other than other than me now left to right off of this and then it does seem like it flattens quite a bit but one like here maybe hold it hold it and still under reddit but Power was at least good on that one. All right, so we've got nine under is at the top. We're three under going into the turn. Definitely not ideal. This is a hole that is riddled with, riddled with bait. But is it worth taking the bait? I can carry this out towards the 250s. Now, now the night to say. 20 yards. <laughs> I think it probably is. Two months. Insane to think. Heels! It is insane to think. Welcome back for two months. Hope you continue to enjoy your faces. Hope you had a good Christmas. Welcome back. Always take the bait. I think I've I think I've got it here. I I I don't. I think we, we are striking it well enough. He says as he push slows it. But push slow is definitely on the safe side away from the water. Okay. I you know on the on the fringe I will I will accept. On the fringe I will accept because it gives us a chance. Just have to see if I. Yeah, there is a little bit of runoff back behind. So it's downhill, little right to left. Not a lot. Not a lot. Now on on this green speed I think I have to take the speed all the way back or the spin rather you know it's gonna come out I think I might have to hit it a little underpowered too because I think if pushed it thing all right we'll take we'll take the birdie but did not uh did not cl clearly did not check myself clearly did not check myself on that on that swing plane not giving myself any real opportunity the layup been taking a lot of three woods around here Three wood, I just get scared, gets too far. Driver obviously gets down, but then you, know, you carry this and you roll yourself out, and now you're into now you're into pitch territory. And I just I struggle with pitches, but. This also slopes very strongly left to right. So I think I'm just gonna take it and we'll kind of deal with whatever pitch we get. 
It's not really like my proximity can get much worse off of a pitch shot the way the things have been going. This is actually even closer than I thought it was, so maybe... Oh, perfect. Don't know if it's a dumb idea, but looking at it, it feels very much like a bomb and, and gouge and use the rollout to read putts. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely probably some merit to that. All right, let's see if we can hit a hit a pitch. Okay. White. Okay. I, it carried a little bit longer than I'm thinking. It's just, it's so hard, Seb, to like, when you've got, when you've got a course that's as short as this, it's so hard to roll it out past the hole without laying way up. But then like, the more that you try and roll it out past the hole, I know, I feel like there are other risks involved. It's just, it's not, not easy. Oh, not a, not a fan. Also, definitely thinking that I might have, I don't know, I, I feel like I read a little more power into that, so probably got lucky, but uh, that is, that is apparently what is required here, so we will, we will take lucky. Try and flight this under the wind just a little bit and then roll it the rest of the way of the hole. I've, I've, I've done a very good job of, I guess, bailing out of some of these approach shots. We, you know, this par three here and earlier par four just hitting it, hitting it slow. It's not great. This is all slipping right to left. I, I gotta be super careful here. Have to be super, super careful. I'm like, I'm definitely okay with being high because I think if we go below the hole, it's just not gonna be good. So gotta get the swing plane right on this this time around. And just just like that on on the start of the back nine we are we are as good as we were all of the first nine holes so uh, that is that is fantastic you don't think you're gonna hit a lot of fairways Seb? <laughs> fairways fairways are very important all right now do I get because of how short this hole is, I think I do get fancy with this. I, I, I mean, I, I, by fancy, I mean, I think we bomb it. Because if we can get down to like a flop. I like, I like what we can do with flop shots. And if we somehow get way, way up. Okay, you can knock it maybe that far up, but maybe there's a chip shot here that's in play. Yeah, because 33 yards up seven. So all we need to do then is flight a flight a chip shot up. Uh, I gotta see what the green looks like. Left to right, so we wanna play it out there. 
downhill a little bit once you're on and then even more so behind so gotta be careful carries out carry to like 25 eight yards a rollout definitely eight yards a rollout so I'm thinking maybe Sander Sander Gap maybe maybe Sand. We'll go sand. Sand left to right. Little chip shot. How's the ball at our feet? Pretty low. Alright, come on. Good swing playing. Hit the ball. Little bit slow, so we're gonna be lower than I wanna be, but sit, sit. That's so mean. That's so mean that last, that last little bit, but I, I slowed it. It came out way more to the right than I had anticipated. Um, pretty substantially up the hill here. It's just, does it break? Fun game is fun, Lucas. Fun game is fun. It's tough. It's definitely tough. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just put it... Right edge here. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it and hit it straight. Maybe too firm? Yeah. But it was breaking low anyway, so... That's not going in. That's not going in regardless. I got to at, at that distance, I guess maybe I have to commit to outside the cup. It's just, it's tough. But I, I thought I played a good chip shot there. Unfortunate to roll 15 feet, five inches down the hill. But, you know, I guess that's kind of what you're working with on, on these greens. You know, I think that's just the, the nature of it all. A little fast. It's into the wind. The, the distance is what concerns me because it should release. Oh no, okay. That works. Christmas was good, man. Christmas was good. We uh did a lot of a lot of driving, but good to be home. Good to see people. Yeah, always good to see family and, and hopefully <laughs> Hopefully we don't come home and get you know end up being being sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, Al? I am doing well. And my Christmas was good. I hope yours was. 2K23 tomorrow? Good luck on the grind. It's a, it's a bit of adjustment, but... Definitely, definitely a good time. Okay. Six feet... And we're gonna play the aggressive line here. And I'm gonna play it outside the cup this time because all these faster greens seems to be breaking just that little bit extra more. So that might just be the way that we have to play it. I don't I don't love it. I think on I think on ones that I feel comfortable with, like we, we're gonna have to go with it that way, but And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pick and pick and choose our battles. Um, just like here, we're gonna have to lay up with the three wood. One oh four, perfect. I'm just trying to get it down there. You got to kick left for me, though. Thank you. How did that? I guess I guess because I played a draw to try and keep those trees out of play, but hitting that 104 I think is actually going to open things up for us because it is soft fairways. But I think 
think I'm actually gonna play a little bit of loft on my on my four iron here. Just play a play an easy play an easy four iron, get it to roll up there. I like that strike. Ball's a little out right. But get a nice, get a gentle hop. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, well, you know. It's a it's a tight opening there. It did get the soft hop. It's pretty straight. I mean it's a little bit right to left. It's a little bit right to left. So we're gonna be hitting it right to left. So I don't need to play anything too crazy. You seek the holy grail. Evox, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Come on. Good swing played. Well, it's not fringe tech. We're in the we're in the rough. That's why it. Almost, almost had it, almost had it. But we pulled it, we pulled it to eight. So after three under through nine, we're five under through the next, next few holes. Lots of birdieing, had it close there. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Okay, so if you bomb this pass, like you can take... If you take three wood here, it's short, and you run it out, get a nice little wedge. It's probably the play, because you've got a corner cut, and then you've got a pitch shot to a, to an angle. So I'm going to take three wood off the tee. I'm going to take three wood. Play it a little left. This should this should settle down nicely. And we're a little bit out more to the right. Like I think if you're I think if you're left side fairway, probably give yourself a little bit more of a line. Um, just because now we've we've got 11 yards, but it's five yards wide and then shorter in front of it. So I think we're gonna have to go ahead and play this with the pitching wedge. Now we're uphill. So, 51, 50, and then you get some wind in the face up the hill. I think just a touch of backspin on it, and then we can maybe... Ah, what do I do? I pushed it, and of course, push it out towards that side. Yep. Yeah. Not, not great. Not great. I just, I hope that we don't have too much issue coming back the other way. I'm good, Evox. Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. But yeah, that's all downhill. So this is... Uh, how is this breaking? A little bit away from me. So I think we're gonna have to play a full shape somewhere like here. And then it should it should break back left to right. Swing should take it left to begin with and then curl back to the hole. The the reeds the reeds are are getting there. The reeds are getting there. Can you do the most in, the most consistently inconsistent streamer known to man, Wayne? Wow, man. The most inconsistent. All right, yeah, okay. There's just there's no there's no sympathy for the holidays, I guess. <laughs> 
No, no sympathy for the holidays. Okay. Guess we're guess we're just not allowed to travel. You're gonna be you're gonna be sorely disappointed when when the baby comes. <laughs> gonna be sorely sorely disappointed when the baby comes. And this is this is where I don't know if I'm just being stupid. Probably am. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a big I'm gonna take a lofted cut. Oh look at that drive! Come on, look at that! Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then naturally we put ourselves in our in our club gap here, but that is still one heck of a drive. Tips for swinging, Vox. Um, so biggest thing is that your backswing doesn't matter as far as the game's input is concerned. Downswing is the is the tempo you're going for. Now having a consistent backswing to get that downswing very very important. But your your downswing is what's key. Um, so you just you just want to try and try and get consistent at something. You know whether it says perfect on your screen or the same gray fasts or gray slows. Get consistent and then recalibrate. Recalibrating when there's a lack of consistency uh, is not gonna not gonna do you much good. What's going on, Stuart? Looks like a young Rory. I've heard... I think that's the first time I've heard about it looking like Rory. The uh, the one that I've gotten the most, I think, is it uh, looks like a young Shooter McGavin. <laughs> none, none of these... None of these are intentional, though. Alright. Just try and get it out center green. About pin high. Give ourselves an eagle putt. A little fast. I didn't cut it enough. It's an eagle putt. Definitely not pin high. Definitely not pin high. But let's see what we can do here. Now don't give me this... Don't give me this crap as if it were actually flat. I think it's right to left, like up top here. I just don't know how long the right to left is in play. I also, I am like genuinely terrified right now of getting the pace right. I'm gonna put it like here. I, I could be over reading this, but. it okay perfect perfect power two putt for birdie absolutely gonna take it absolutely gonna take it I, I i can have precisely zero zero complaints that's not a bad read from out there obviously i know going into that i am you know i am playing for
I don't I don't think we can take driver here. I don't think there's any point to it. Oh, this is a disgusting 18th. Whoa, this is how you get in trouble. This is how you this is seriously though, this is how you like this is how you bogey the 18th. Oh, this is gonna be a rough This is gonna be a rough four rounds. That stays out that far. All right, well, we're gonna be playing out of the rough here. I thought I could play like a, a massive draw. I was definitely way out to the right. Can I even make the, oh God, can I make the green? I can, okay. That's good. Uh. I like the I like the way that sounded. I like the way that sounded. This is going to be a really difficult two putt. But, yeah, kinda, kinda had to be, didn't it? Is this a double breaker? <laughs> this is kinda one of those like perplexing looking putts. I think I see, I'm, I'm gonna hit it straight. Uh, I'm gonna hit it straight. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it goes left and then a, like a little left, a little right. Probably is gonna miss like just barely on one side, but I just I need to hit a straight putt and I need to get good, good power on it. Little bit of a pull to the left. Power is okay. Yeah, it's just I, I I gotta be okay with par nine under. We're up there with the leader six under back nine, really bringing us back into this. So if we could have started better, would have been great. Putting is tough out there. It's gonna be a tough four rounds this week. But if we can if we can plug away and maybe have. One round a little bit better, we're gonna be in we're gonna be in a good position.